four things I do not like about living in a minivan. But I will tell you, there's a lot of things I love about it and it outweighs all of the cons of living in a minivan. Minivans have special issues because they're smaller, but there's so many other things that are good about them. So let me get started. I've got my notes, okay? Well, for one thing, there's just not enough room for certain things. Things that I would like to enjoy, that I enjoyed when I lived in a house. One thing is like sewing. Another thing is like doing crafts. Another thing is like drawing and doing artwork. It's a big deal to get out my artwork and have a table to sit on. And yeah, it's just, it, it makes it, it makes it more difficult. I know, wee, wee, I'm whining, yeah. Um, crafts, and then, um, what else? My clothes. I buy a few things every season. That means like in the winter, I buy a few new things and in the summer, I buy a few new things. But unless they're worn out, I'm not willing to get rid of last year's things. So I'm starting to collect clothes because I don't know. I mean, I might end up living in a house, right? Or an apartment sometime. And so what happens is, is that I have to get a storage, which is fine. That's fine. But I'm just saying, I don't have the room to carry all of the clothes that I would like to carry. There's like extra things that I would like to carry. One of them is food prep. I mean, they say that you should have food, you know, for prepping for uh, just in case there's an emergency. And, uh, you know, a prepper, prepper stuff, you should have food stored, food and water. And living in a minivan, that's really difficult to do. Now, I could leave it in my storage, sure. But what if, you know, I mean, what if it really went down and I couldn't get to my storage? What if the storage was closed on that day or, the, or it was at night and the gates are closed? I mean, there's all kinds of scenarios. What if there was an EMP and the, the gate won't open? And my store, my car won't run, and I want to run to my storage to get. I guess I could climb the fence, right? But yeah. So there's extra things too that would be kind of fun to carry and and have, and enjoy. Number two is cleanup. It's not easy cleaning up a small space. There's less cleanup, I will say that. So that's a good thing. But one thing is. Um, <clears throat> Like I have things like behind my dresser, um, behind like I have when my rug goes upward, there's things that can get down in there. Sometimes I have to take to really clean my minivan very well. I have to take things out. I have to really spread out, be able to take things out, take all the blankets up at the bottom and vacuum that carpet that's under there and just washing everything i mean there it's it's harder to clean when there's when you're kind of shoved in or you've got and i don't even have that much in my minivan oh my gosh there's some people are really um they're packed in there and i'm not really that packed in but i do find it's a little bit more difficult or it's a little bit more daunting to want to do it you know, and it's harder to, when you're cleaning, it's harder to do the dishes in a minivan. I don't have a sink. Yeah, I have a small space. And like I mentioned, the corners, time to get into the corners and really clean up well. Okay, the next thing that is irritating is I have to put everything back right away. Once I get in my van, I can't just sit my groceries down and get back from the uh, Walmart. And then maybe, you know, you like, you can go in the kitchen when you live in a house, you can kind of set them down and go sit down and maybe do something else, make, make a little lunch, make a little drink and you can kind of sit on your couch and then go put things away later. I cannot do that. I can't do it. In the morning, I have to put up my bed first thing in the morning. And I mean, that's the first thing I do. I have to fold first, I fold up my blankets 
then I have to take my sheet off of the sleeping bag, then I roll up my sleeping bag, then I start stacking everything up in the back and, um, you know, put my cover on. Then I can think about, well, now I'll get dressed, now I can put things away clearly so that I can drive. That means I have to make sure that any liquids that I wanted for the night, like my baking soda water that I keep beside me, I have to make sure that that is dumped. And there's all these little things I have to do to prep to even get started for the day. Yeah. No biggie. There's so many good things. But there's one more. There's one more baddie. <laughs> it's a baddie. I find, and let me get comfortable here. I find that living in a minivan is, can be bad for relationships when you have relationships with people, close relationships. It was really bad um, when um, I was with my travel partner, with my romantic travel partner. It was, it, it really, I think it really, um, people say, oh, the, that was good that you had your own space, but I don't think for uh, getting close, close, like we were, we felt that we were close emotionally, we couldn't get close physically. I mean, that was almost near impossible. And when I did go into his van, I mean, he, he can't fit in here. And when I did go into his van, I mean, that was, um, Abby was still with him. And I mean, that was Abby's space. That was Abby's chair. And uh, it just, yeah, it was, and then the seats weren't together. So I was sitting over there and he was sitting over here and, I don't know, you know, we could talk, but I mean, to really like hug and, and be cuddly, be cuddly. And I'm not talking about, you know, like uh, romantic sex, but I'm just talking about even just getting cuddly. It, it was almost near impossible. It really was. Um, and then it's hard to meet new people. <laughs> Meeting and new people or what, what if I met a new partner, somebody that interests me? I just think he'd be like, you live in a what? You, if he's not a nomad, he's going to go, what? You live in your minivan. Hmm. Okay. And, but that would be a non-nomad, but even a nomad, if you were going to have a relationship with another nomad, um, I just don't think it's that easy living in a minivan. I mean, how do you invite your friends in? You just don't. I mean, seriously, I did have my friend that one time she would come in here and I think she went back to Colorado. I think she leaves. I think she left on Friday, but um, she was fine to sit. She would push his seat back and I would sit over here and she would sit here and we would just chit chat. She was above and I was below like I was, you know, like looking up at her, but it was cool. I mean, that I enjoyed. I really did. I thought, wow, I got somebody over. It's like inviting your friend over to your house. But otherwise, I mean, it can be really difficult, you know, to do that. And like I said, the non-nomads, if you were going to meet somebody, you thought, hmm, this might be dating material, right? I think they're going to, I mean, I know you might disagree and maybe they won't, but I bet there's going to be a select few that think, that's weird. Hmm. How do, how do I date this person? And like I said, it is hard to get close. Now, when I had a home, I could invite my family over for events and I could cook for them. Here, I can't do that. I guess they have to invite me. But these are four things that I mentioned that are, that are, um, they do hamper in a way. But now I want to get to the good because the good outweighs. These are just things that I can get over. Obviously, I've done it for seven years. I've gotten over them, but I wanted to let you know what what those things were for me. You, at, I said that I wanted to do a pros and cons, and one of you said, "Oh, I'm so excited to find out what what you think that the the pros and cons are," and this is what I think they are. Not bad. It's not horrible. It's not the end of the world, but there are things that aren't. Um, you know, wonderful that I'm just going to go, woo, you know, and celebrate. Yeah. But I do want to show you, this is my front seat. Hi. <laughs> I keep my hat here. This is my, um, boonie hat, boon, boon hat, boonie hat, boonie hat. Um, got it. Um, it's a, a military surplus. 
this is where I keep, oops, um, this is what, it's a magnet, and I put it on my pants, and, and, and I put it inside, and then the magnet holds it, very nice. Now, today I've got my jean shorts on, so I have uh, my uh, key and my lip gloss in my pocket. But if I have like yoga pants on, I don't have pockets, I have to use this. Now I have locked myself out of my, my home, <laughs> my minivan, many times. So what I do now is a system. I put this around here, there. And so when I step into here and I get in here, I see this is here. Yeah. And so I know. This is where I park my um, bucket and my washcloth. I just kind of park it here. I've gotten pretty good at it. I can sit back there and kind of like, pew, and it lands perfect. I've got that down after all these years. I've got it down. I've been putting it there for years. And I've got my um, windshield shield there. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this, this is a nice little chair. Yeah. Now, soon this week, I'm going to show you these window covers a little bit more up close and personal. Okay? Okay. Okay, well, let's get to the good stuff. What I like about my minivan. There's a lot. Yeah, those four things. And, and then there's the little subdivisions of each one. Like, you know, trying to, you can't invite friends over, but it's hard to have a romantic relationship also living in a minivan. Maybe a high top would be a little bit more conducive. But I doubt if I'll get in another romantic relationship, at least for a very long time. And I think I'll pass on the high top. <laughs> I don't think it's enough that I really wanted to get, actually get a high top. You know, maybe down the road, you know, get a uh, get a place. Who knows where or when or how? But yeah, it might be more conducive if you, if I found somebody that um, I feel that uh, it would be a successful relationship. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's get to the good stuff. The best things I love about being in a minivan is the gas mileage. It costs less to keep it fueled up. Number two is it's stealthy. So as far as being in a minivan, yes, those are the, those are the top. But then of course I have to, you know, compromise on the, no, the amount of space, you know, so there's a, there's, but I would rather have less gas and be more stealthy. So there's more places. I have more choices where I can park at night. Okay. So number two about living in a minivan or a van in general is no rent. I don't pay any rent. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. And I really don't, I know some of you, and I've already mentioned this, but you might be new. I do not spend more in gas than the average person living in a city, living in a house. I, my last budget, the budget for, um, living in a minivan and my fuel cost, I think was like $140 is all for the month. And that's with higher gas. So basically just living in a van in general is I get to move around easy. If I feel unsafe in any situation, I can just move. If I was living in an apartment and I didn't feel safe and I have been there before, I that scenario has been there in my life and I didn't feel safe, how do I move? I mean, I can get my car and, move, and go, but I still have to come back. I can move anywhere I want to move if I feel unsafe. If I get bored with an area, I can move in another thing that is so wonderful in the moving of my minivan my suitcase is always packed I don't have to run home and pick up things and then go move and or go somewhere everything I own except for what's in my storage but most everything that I own that I need on a on an hourly basis or daily basis really is right here with me no matter what there have been times I remember um, at my son's house, they were fixing Thanksgiving dinner 
and they ran out of foil. And I just said, hold on, let me run home and I'll get some foil. And I ran out to my car and I brought it in. Another time, um, my daughter ran out of paper towels. So I went and got, I went out, got my paper towels and came back in. Those are fun things that you can do. Everything that I own really that I need is right here with me. So when I move to another spot, no problem. I've got my toilet here. I've got everything I need. I've got my food. Yeah. So like, for instance, I could go to the zoo and I need to take a break. And I don't want to, I don't want to buy anything in the, in the commissary in there. So I can run out to my minivan and just kind of sit and maybe get, make a little lunch or something, get a little snack and walk back in and enjoy the zoo again. Those are just, those are easy things that I can do. Freedom, the freedom the, if you have not been a van dweller, a nomad, if you have not been inside of your vehicle and it's your home on wheels, there's a freedom that is hard to describe. A nomad knows what I'm talking about. Now I do have a friend and she's sort of getting ready for the van life. So what she does, she's unhappy in her, um, in her resident place, which is not uncommon. And so sometimes she just goes out and sits in her um, vehicle and she just sits there and um, looks out. And she even says, there's such a peace and serene feeling just sitting there in her own vehicle and looking out and people watching. There's another one you get to people watch. <laughs> That's fun because I have limo tinting on my um, windows and nobody can see me. I mean, unless they really peeked in, but nobody really can see me and I can just people watch. Yeah, and I do quite a bit. I do. Minimalism, it is wonderful. Now there's there's a balance there. Now, because my first thing that I didn't like about it was that I didn't have enough space to carry things. But on the other hand, minimalism is really good for the spirit. It really is. There's another freedom. When I first became a nomad and I had, I had gotten rid of everything that was in my house, lots of stuff I got rid of. It was such a weight that lifted off my shoulders. It was wonderful. And that's another thing. It's hard to explain until you until you actually do it. Which my friend that I just talked about, she's been selling a lot of her things, and on on Facebook Marketplace and and in other places. And wow, she said it just feels so good. She's lightening her load, not only in rent, but you can save money in other places also. You can save money. You know, here's another thing. You are going to be healthier. I truly believe that people say, why would that be? I, I've just seen it. When people become a nomad, they usually drop, in the first couple months, they drop five to 10 pounds. They eat healthier. When you have a refrigerator, you got the freezer, you got ice cream, you got, um, you, you can store a lot of junk food in there and then you can go sit on the couch and you don't even realize you're doing it. Then you can, um, overeat. I tend to, I, uh, and when I was in Cincinnati, I could see it too. I was a nomad for a while. And then when I moved in with my daughter and I was there for a little while, I tended, I tend to eat more because the refrigerator's there. You can store more food here. I eat, I eat less. And I can't explain why, but I do. I don't eat that much being a nomad, which is good for the figure. I, I really am a smaller person. I don't need that much food. And it really stinks to overeat if you're in a minivan. There's just not enough room. It just, it's, a miserable, it's a miserable situation to overeat in a minivan or any van, I believe. Now, coinciding with the food, being healthy, I'm always active. I just am. I'm always getting out. I'm climbing over and I'm going out. I'm dumping garbage. I'm walking into the park. I'm going here. I'm going there. And I'm even working a little bit harder here. 
I'm more active, and I think most van dwellers will agree that they're more active being a nomad. Now, a lot of families live apart. They live far from each other. So being a nomad is a really good family connection because you can travel and you can go see all the family members easily. Yeah, I think that being a nomad, now it seems opposite because I just got done saying that it was hard on a relationship, but you can meet more people. It doesn't mean that you're going to want them, you know, you're not going to want to invite them in and you might not even want to be great friends with them. But you do get to meet a lot of new people because we're so active. We're going places. We're going to the senior center. We're going to the park. We're, which I go to parks now. Um, sometimes I go to two or three parks in one day because they have different things to offer. One, one of the parks I go to has walking. It has a better walking situation there and I can see more things. Another park that I go to has a better parking situation. It's a little more secluded, a little bit more quiet. And then another park that I go to really does have more people. There's just more people around and I can people watch just a little bit more and I can um, get out and walk and I can meet people and talk to them. So these are the things, I mean, this lifestyle brings me so much joy. It really, really does. So that's pretty good that there's only about four things that I find kind of irritating, but I have to take the good with the bad and those are the bad, but I'm willing to let it go because there's so many other um, wonderful uh, gifts that this lifestyle offers me and most of my friends and you if you want to do it. Some of you want to this life, you, some of you want to do this lifestyle some of you have to do this lifestyle. You might as well enjoy it. If you have to do it, just enjoy it. I guarantee you, once you get started with it and you get a, and you finally come to the attitude that's like, this isn't so bad, you're going to love it and you're going to find the same joy that I do. Well, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you all. I do. And it, this lifestyle isn't for everybody. It really isn't. But if you have to do it, you don't really have the choice, right? Or what are you going to do? You're going to be homeless without not living in your vehicle? Are you going to be miserable living in your residence? Yeah. I mean, they can be they can be dangerous these days. So, please check uh, your subscription. Make sure that you're subscribed. Go to minivanlee.com and check out everything there, okay? Do that for me. Thank you. Well, that's it. I will see you tomorrow. I love you. Bye.